Hey there, YouTube. This is Vargas XX78 uh, with another collection. I uh, just wanted to share with you guys all the stuff I've picked up for this last uh, month and a half. Uh, I've actually been trying to cut down on the stuff I bought. <laughs> I don't have every video like that, but um, I was still in this month and a half still able to pick up a lot of really neat stuff. And like always, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I'm recording in the living room, still using the cell phone. So uh, I apologize beforehand for any uh, video qualities, and I hope the audio doesn't skip. I've noticed that tends to happen, but um, lots of really interesting stuff to talk about. So uh, let's get started. Well, as always, I'd like to start off my video with uh, my monthly issue of Club Nintendo. Uh, this is the uh, video game, the only video game magazine that I buy and I read. Uh, I know uh, printed printed magazines are starting to become extinct, but uh, Club Nintendo is still still being published here in Mexico, and I still pick it up. Uh, this is the February issue, and uh, on the cover they have uh, the new Luigi's Mansion video game that's going to come out for a 3DS. Really looking forward to that. It really looks interesting. But they also talk about uh, Sega and Sonic All Star Racing Transformed. And uh, Lego City undercover, and the new uh, Raven Rabbit. So they also have a, a an in-depth look at the new review. So um, yeah, Club Nintendo always always good. Um, my cousin in Mexico City was finally able to ship to me the, the, the two magazines that I was missing during that whole shipping problem that we had uh, a few months ago uh, between TJ and Mexico City. Uh, but she was finally able to send me those issues, and this is the October issue of Club Nintendo with uh, the Kirby Anniversary Collection on the cover. Uh, they also talk about uh, the new Super Mario Brothers 2 on the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, um, so yeah, a really, really cool cover. This is actually a video game that I'm, I still have to pick up. I'm way behind on my video game purchases, but um, I really want to get this one because this one looks really, really cool. Uh, I know they're starting to sell out, so I better hurry up and get it because uh, compared to the Mario Anniversary Collection that they did, this this was way better. Um, they put a lot more effort into this, so uh, I got to pick up that. And uh, she also was able to get for me the uh, December issue of Club Nintendo with Mario and Yoshi there on the cover. Uh, with this issue, Nintendo Power, uh, Club Nintendo, I'm sorry, is celebrating 21 years. I haven't been collecting uh, Club Nintendo for that long. I, I think I started collecting Club Nintendo at the middle part of 95. Uh, but yeah, uh, with this one, they celebrate uh, 21 years, and they talk about a lot of different stuff, of course, uh, Super Mario. But they also talk about uh, Batman Arkham City, the Armored Edition. They talk about Assassin's Creed. Three, uh, second tag tournament, Dark Siders, and Zombie U. Plus, it also has a giant poster. So uh, that was I thought really cool. That now my uh, Club Nintendo collection is complete. I'm not missing a single issue. So that was really cool, and I really thank my cousin for that. Um, only bought one book. I bought uh, the Hannibal Rising book. Uh, this is part of the uh, Hannibal series of books. It has, um, it, you know, the Silence of the Lamb, Hannibal, uh, Red Dragon, and Hannibal Rising. Um, yeah, I, I just saw it there. This is actually a first edition book. Uh, decided to pick it up. Got it dirt cheap, like most of my books in English. And uh, I started reading it. it. It's interesting. It goes a little more in depth than the movie did, so, yeah. Um, a friend of mine is, is moving out of his, well, He's still trying to organize his apartment. Um, uh, he's trying to build his uh, game room in his new house. Uh, it's not an apartment, I'm sorry, it's a new house. And uh, he's getting rid of some stuff uh, so he can display other stuff better. Uh, uh, he usually sells me stuff, but this time he gave me a bunch of stuff for free. Uh, he gave me for free these strategy guides. He gave me the uh, premium strategy guide for uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2. I don't, I don't you know, use strategy guides. Uh, this one's still sealed. Uh, but I like collecting them. Uh, they're a good collector's piece. And, uh, you know, if you have the game, it's. I think it's it's cool to own the strategy guide. So uh, I got that one for free. 
Uh, he also gave me the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword uh, strategy guide. Also from Prima. I think I might actually have this one. I haven't checked. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a Zelda strategy guide. Uh, download makes it awesome. Also for free. He gave me everything uh, I'm going to show you for free. Uh, he also gave me uh, the strategy guide for the Dead or Alive 5 for free. Which uh, I thought was cool, and it still comes with the with the calendar. It comes with a free calendar inside, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, he also gave me for free the um, collector's edition of Ninja Gaiden 3. It, it's not it's not a complete collector's edition. It doesn't have the game. He says uh, he told me that he gave the game away, but he still had the collector's edition, and he says it's a cool collector's edition, but he doesn't want it anymore. But it. Except for the game, it comes complete. It comes with the art book. Uh, it comes with the um, Rio Hayabusa statue. It comes with the soundtrack, and it comes with the code for Dead or Alive 5, which I'm sure he already used. But just the fact that he gave me this collector's edition, um, and it has the statue is pretty awesome. The soundtrack is pretty cool. Uh, if I buy a copy of Ninja Gaiden 3 for the PlayStation 3, uh, this set's complete. So. And again, I got that for free, so I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, he also got rid of these two uh, little uh, figurines. Uh, they're part of a set because they they combine to form the um, uh, the symbol of yin and yang. And uh, they're dolls from well, they're uh, little statues from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, here's one. I at this point for blanked out on her names. Uh, um, oh crap. Well, they're, they're the two main girls from Evangelion and uh, and they have this, this little costume and they have uh, like guns on, on, on their hands. So uh, I thought they were cool. Um, I, I really like the Evangelion series even though I, for the life of me I can't remember the names. And this I thought this was a really cool set. Again, it gave me uh, the, the, the figurines for free. So, you know, I thought that was still pretty awesome. Uh, I'll find a place for these two because uh, I thought they looked pretty cool. Um, well, then we'll actually get some video games. I'm going to talk about some video games I got. Uh, I got uh, Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of Starry Skies. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior as it started out on the NES. Uh, I'm missing a few of the titles in the series, but uh, every one that I've played, I've really enjoyed. Uh, in this one, you play as an angel that uh, this bad thing happens and he falls down to earth and he loses his memory. It's a typical RPG uh, story, but uh, you can customize your character and you can build a party, uh, play through wireless connection. A really, really cool game. Uh, looking forward to Dragon Quest X whenever it comes out. But uh, I'm only missing uh, Dragon Quest 4 and 5, I think, uh, out of the, the series that came out on the DS. So hopefully one day I'll find those cheap and I'll get them. Uh, went to a swap meet. Uh, this lady was selling a lot of DVDs. And in between those DVDs, she had a GameCube game. Uh, she gave me a GameCube game for the price of a DVD. She must not have known it, so it was a, a video game. And uh, I. I, I love the GameCube. Um, I'm always on the lookout for GameCube games that I don't own and that I can get really cheap. But I picked up for the GameCube a Legends of Wrestling 2. Uh, this is a title made by Acclaim, who no longer exists. But uh, this one featured all the uh, old school wrestlers like Bam Bam Bigelow, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Uh, Big Papa Pump, uh, Scott Steiner, uh, Sid Vicious, Eddie Guerrero is in this. Uh, the play control is kind of weird, but just the fact that it has all those really old school, uh, the really cool old school character uh, wrestlers from back in the day, I thought was pretty awesome. The graphics are are okay; they're not the best. Uh, play control gets a little a little getting used to, but it has a whole bunch of modes, and it's a so far as far as I've played, it's a really cool wrestling game. But again, the fact that it has all the old school wrestlers is what makes this one awesome. And I got it really dirt cheap. I, I think I paid a dollar fifty for that one. Uh, another game I got, I actually got this game for free. Uh, but for the GameCube again, I got Geist. 
I remember this This was announced a lot in uh, Club Nintendo. Uh, it was going to be the next Metroid Prime. Uh, you were this uh, special agent that goes into a mission, and then your spirit gets sucked out of your body. So you're wandering around this, this uh, installation as a ghost, and uh, you have to uh, scare people so you can possess them and then do a, a bunch of stuff. It got really bad reviews when it finally released, but uh, so far I've been playing it, and the graphics are pretty awesome. Uh, the play control is pretty solid. So, so far I'm actually liking this game a lot. And uh, this game right here is accomplishes the goal that I had. Uh, I actually talked about it at the New Year's resolution a whole bunch of time ago. But uh, for no reason I just wanted to own 150 GameCube games, just so that I can say that I own 150 GameCube games. And this little game right here is my 150th GameCube game. So, uh, yeah. Really, really happy that I was able to get this game for free and complete that goal that I set, I set for myself like three years ago, something like that. But uh, I, I just really love the GameCube. I think it's an awesome console, and uh, I really like the game library, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, all the other stuff I picked up are movies. I, I, I think I, I want to think that I want to say that I'm lucky enough to find really good movies for really cheap. And uh, that's why I pick up so many movies on, on these videos. Um, in a month and a half, I pick up a whole bunch of movies. So, so yeah, it's a good thing because I, I can really uh, stock up on awesome stuff. But it's also a bad thing because I'm I'm kind of running out of space. And and uh, but yeah, uh, first movie I picked up is uh, the first movie by Wes Craven. Uh, this is the Last House on the Left, the original one. I remember seeing the Sinatras now talk about this, and I, I didn't know it was Wes Craven's first movie. And uh, the cover's kind of kind of ugly. I also heard movie John talk about it when he picked it up on Blu-ray. But uh, I got the DVD dirt cheap. I, I picked it up for really really cheap. Uh, it's it's a movie kind of like uh, it's actually the movie that inspired movies like uh, I Spit on Your Grave and uh, another one I own, but. Uh, like those two movies, it's kind of hard to watch because uh, a uh, movie John actually said compared it best. It, it, it compared he compared it to a snuff film, a snuff film, and that's pretty much what it is. But um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good movie by Wes Craven, and uh, really happy to get, get it so cheap. Uh, another movie I picked up is Keanu, Keanu Reeves and Morgan Freeman in Chain Reaction. Uh, this com this uh, group of people uh, are able to find a solution that can turn water into gas, uh, you know, gasoline for cars and everything, and they get murdered, and somehow Keanu Reeves gets that formula and everyone's after him. It's a, it's a very interesting movie, but it also stars uh, Rachel Welch, uh, uh, and I really like her from movies like The Mummy and Constantine. So uh, I like the cast. The movie's... Not not that memorable, but I, I thought it was cool. I got it really, really cheap. Uh, also picked up uh, Samuel L. Jackson's Snake on Snakes on a Plane. Uh, I remember seeing the trailer for this. I thought it was a really stupid movie. Uh, I still think it's a stupid movie, but it's the kind of movie that's dumb but fun. And uh, I remember oh, this thing get, got really insane with the viral videos and everything. It's it, it's a crazy monster flick. Uh, it's I don't think it's that good, but it's fun. So as long as the movie's entertaining, uh, it's at least memorable. Uh, picked up the remake of the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari called the Cabinet of Caligari. Uh, this is a black and white movie remake that came out in the '60s, and it's uh, this woman goes into this place and she's being tortured by a doctor. But then you find out that she's actually in a mental institution, and the doctor's also torturing her. It's it's kind of weird. I've never seen the original, so I, I don't have a point of comparison. But that was actually pretty interesting. Um, I was actually about to break down and buy this on Blu-ray, but I've been trying to hold out for the the DVD. Finally found it, and uh, I finally got me a, a DVD copy of Total Recall. Uh, the Blu-ray is like five dollars right now, but um. I wanted to get it on, on DVD, and it has a, all the same special features as the Blu-ray. Uh, amazing Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, the remake had, had its interesting things, but the, the original is always better. Uh, a lot of really memorable catchphrases uh, from old Arnold. 
Uh, just a really, really, one of his best movies, uh, in my opinion. Really, really good movie. Definitely recommend that one. Uh, also saw this one in the same place where I picked up uh, Total Recall, and uh, I, I was debating whether or not to pick it up. Saw them with the nostalgia critic uh, talk about it. Um, and it's a really bad interpretation of an interpretation, but uh, I picked it up regardless. It's The Wiz. It's uh, The Wizard of Oz take with Michael Jackson uh, that was playing the Scarecrow. Uh, directed by Joel Schumacher, who did the horrible Batman movies. Um, I remember seeing this when I was a kid. Um, it didn't compare to the original, of course. The original Wizard of Oz is by far the best version of that movie ever. And, but this one I thought was interesting enough to buy it. It came out in the same year uh, that I was born. So, yeah. It, but I picked it up because it, it, it starred Michael Jackson. Uh, but the movie itself isn't that good or memorable. Um, finally got a copy of American Beauty. This is the Academy Award edition. Uh, even though on the back it says not for resale. But um, I saw this movie once. I thought it was really interesting. I've been trying to track it down on DVD. Finally got me a copy. Uh, this one was a, a blind buy. I bought it in the same location I bought the American Beauty and Total Recall. Picked it up because it has Corey Feldman and Corey Haim in it. And that's National Lampoon's Last Resort. Uh, haven't seen it. Again, it's a blind buy. Picked it up because of those two actors. Um, also, another blind buy picked up The Race. Uh, because it stars Charlie Sheen. Uh, on the back of the DVD, it says that um, uh, he's a phantom. Uh, a race, he's mysterious, otherworldly stranger, uh, an evil force took his life, now an earthly, unearthly power has brought him back, he has a destiny to fulfill a woman's love to reclaim, and he's determined to wage a vendetta against the young punk who put him in his situation in the first place. Sounded interesting, have not seen it yet, uh, but it looks like good cheesy 80s uh, movie, and it has uh, Charlie Sheen in it, so that's the reason why I picked it up. Went to a blockbuster, they had this sale to, if you buy one, get another movie for free. Uh, they only had two movies that interested me. Picked up Paranormal Activity 2. I want to get all the Paranormal Activity movies. Uh, I'm making three and four. Uh, one and two, I think, were the best. Three was also pretty good. Four was all, also good, but it kind of went down in, in quality. Uh, really creepy movie. It's, I would definitely recommend all of the Paranormal Activity movies, uh, but really awesome. And I also picked up uh, Drive Angry, starring Nicolas Cage, who is this guy that breaks out of hell, and he's trying to look for revenge and save uh, his daughter. Really over-the-top movie, but it's, it's really, really fun. Definitely recommend this one. Even if you're not a Nicolas Cage fan, this one's just awesome. Uh, this, one, this one was filmed in 3D, so uh, the DVD doesn't come in 3D, but an uh, amazing movie nonetheless. I, I really, really liked it. Uh, picked this movie up as Big Lots because it stars Robert Downey Jr. So I picked up Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Uh, heard the nostalgia chick talk about this one. And uh, got curious about it, and it, they had it at, at Big Lots. Big Lots sometimes gets, gets these really cool movies really cheap. So I, I picked that one up at Big Lots. Uh, still have to watch it. Picked up Rocky 2 at Big Lots. It's a standard edition, doesn't have any spe special features, just the movie, but I want to track down all of the Rocky movies that I'm missing. Uh, I think the Rocky series is, is, is amazing. Uh, even 3 and... Uh, I think I might skip 5, but I want to get 3 nonetheless because it stars, it stars Hulk Hogan. And uh, number 4 because it, it has, you know, an epic uh, Dolph Lundgren character in Ivan Drago. And his memorable catchphrase is like, if he dies, he dies. Just Rocky IV, I think, is, is pretty awesome. But even though the end is kind of kind of out there. But also a big lot that picked up Starship Troopers 3. Uh, I don't own number two, but I've heard that one is actually pretty bad. But uh, at Big Lot, they have this one with the slip cover. And it has this really cool metallic look, which I hope you can make out. But, um, yeah, um... It stars the same guy from the first one, and I really like Starship Trooper, so I'll pick that one up. 
Also, I'm still trying to complete my American remake of uh, Japanese horror movie collection that I have going on. Picked up uh, The Eye, starring uh, Jessica Alba. Nowhere near as cool as the original, but uh, I, I'm on this mission to pick up all the uh, American remakes of Japanese horrors, horror movies, and I'm only missing, I think I'm only missing uh, one missed call, which also does not compare to the original, but uh, I'm missing that one, so I hope to get it one day. Um, also picked up the complete first season of Wonder Woman. Uh, the box is in pretty bad condition. Uh, this box here is pretty scratched and it's, it's falling apart. But the inside box and the discs are in awesome shape. Uh, picked this one up for $2. Uh, couldn't pass it up because I, when I was a kid, uh, they would pass this block of TV shows. They would pass Wonder Woman. They would pass Batman with Adam West. They would pass uh, Knight Rider, The Hulk, and the Spider-Man uh, TV show. So uh, I really have good memories of Wonder Woman. And Linda Carter is still by far of the best Wonder Woman. She was beautiful. She acted really well. And, and I think that as I was watching this, uh, I brought back the memory that uh, I remember because, because through Wonder Woman, I kind of have a thing for girls with glasses. A beautiful Wonder Woman. Linda Carter will always be the best Wonder Woman. No matter who who they get, Linda Carter was just like... Uh, there are people that are born to be a character, and Linda Carter was, was that that kind of person. Um, also, finally picked up a copy of Mimic. Uh, this is the... To my knowledge, the first movie that uh, Guillermo del Toro made. And uh, I'm a huge Guillermo del Toro fan. Love everything that he does. Uh, this was the one movie that I was missing from him, and now I own it, so now my Guillermo del Toro collection is complete. I'm so happy about that. Also picked up, uh, it's, it's in Spanish, but I, it's okay. I picked up uh, House Moving Castle. Over here it got called uh, Castillo Vagabundo. Uh, love anything by Leia Saki. I, don't, I, I wish I owned more of his movies. I only own two more. I uh, loved House Moving Movie Castle. I love the visuals. I love the story. Uh, just ama another amazing movie by Studio Ghibli. And uh, yeah, they're the only ones that still do two, uh, traditional 2D animation uh, with a little bit of, uh, of computer short, but it, any movie by them is in amazing in my opinion. And I'm trying to track down more movies of it. Also picked up in Spanish, but it's okay. Uh, it's a silent movie, so you don't really need that much. I picked up The Artist. Uh, it's the black and white movie that got uh, that got nominated by a whole bunch of Oscars. Uh, the movie came out in 2011. And it's about uh, this silent actor that um, has to face the fact that movies are going to become talkies, you know, with sound and everything, and he can't adapt to that. Um, didn't get to see it, so I was really curious about it. Definitely want to go, want to see this one. Whether I have it. Also picked up Perfume, the story of a murderer. Uh, started watching this on cable. Actually, it, it happens with most of the movies I watch. I started watching this on cable, and I don't remember what happened. I think I thought fell asleep, and I didn't see the ending. So I've been trying to track it down on DVD. Found a copy, dirt cheap. Uh, watched it, and uh, it's really out there. It's a really out there movie, but it's really awesome. Especially the ending. The ending is kind of like. It, it, it has like a a part of the ending where it gets really weird and then it gets really messed up at the end. But it's a really good movie. Uh, for my girlfriend, uh, trying to pick up all the movies that she likes and uh, she doesn't own. We actually got this one on Blu-ray, but I was able to find a, a copy of the DVD. And it's uh, only because it looks like the, a book, but also because it says it's the Miramax Collector's Edition. Uh, new exclusive DVD edition. Uh, Bridget Jones' Diary. Uh, my girlfriend loves this movie. Uh, again, we already got it on, on Blu-ray. Saw this one, picked it up again. But I also picked up the sequel, which she doesn't own. Uh, Bridget Jones' The Edge of Reason. Uh, again, I, I, I wanted to diversify the movie collection to include movies that she likes. It can't just be all horror and uh, action and, and stuff like that. So I, I want to pick up movies that she enjoys, and these two movies are, are, are one of her favorite ones. Just like Matilda, uh, she always mentions these two movies, so I'm glad I was able to pick that for her. 
And a movie that I've been trying to track down because a lot of people mention it all the time and it inspired a lot of different movies similar to this one is Love Actually. And it's a romantic comedy, but it's always on a, a lot of people's list of favorite romantic movies. And uh, I've always seen the full screen, never widescreen, and this one is in widescreen. So I thought that was awesome. I picked it up. Uh, I have to watch it, but I want to watch it with my girlfriend, so, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was the uh, collection pickup video. Like I said, lots of different stuff uh, I picked up this time around. Law Magazine, Soft Try Guys, uh, those cool statues that I got for free. Some video games and a bunch of movies. Uh, like always, I like to recommend that, recommend uh, the standout things of the haul. And there's so many that I, I don't think I'll be able to narrow it down that much, but I'm going to go with two that, uh, that I really liked. I'm going to go with uh, Drive Angry. If you haven't watched it, give it a watch. It's actually pretty awesome. And uh, for all those nostalgic, nostalgic buffs, uh, Wonder Woman. A lot of people think it might be a chick thing, but it's not. It's based on a comic book. It actually is very faithful to, ori to the original interpretation of Wonder Woman because she's fighting against Nazis. So, so you know, that's awesome. And again, uh, Linda Carter, perfect Wonder Woman. Uh, but yeah, that's my recommendation. So uh, thank you everyone that watched this video. Uh, please leave a comment, uh, thoughts on all the stuff I picked up, recommendations for movies. I, I, I'm always looking forward to watching or hearing about a movie that I've never seen. But like always, thanks so much to everyone that watched. And until I see you all again, this is Vargas XX78. Signing off.